COVID hotels have made it to Fuquok, the Sheraton Fuquok Resort. Didn't quite make it. Maybe it'll kick in again soon. So we've just arrived at Fuquok, uh, the Anja Beach. No more, no more homestays. No more homestays. Homestays are done. <laughs> We're done with mould. We're had, done with stinky. We've had weeks We're done with days. noisy neighbours on the top. We decided, or Lee decided, and rock, beds. and rock beds to book us in here. Go in, baby. You have to show us around. <laughs> it's still a rock. I mean, you're still in Vietnam. Yeah. There's no, there's no it for, It's massive, though. It's like, I think it might be bigger than Betty's. It's, big, it's bigger than a super key. So sort of chair, a little bit of a desk in case we want to do any work, like fuck we do. There is cold beers and we will be drinking them and we'll replace them so we don't have to pay the hotel prices. Yeah, we've, got, we've, even, we've even got vodka here and, oh my god, Ballantine Scotch Whiskey. Wow. Now, that would be really oh, bad. Oh my god. It's fucking good. Now let's have, a quick, let's have a quick walk down to the beach, shall we? Yes. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, we'll be having some of that. <laughs> oh, it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. So good. I'm gonna do what all good Aussies do and leave my thongs there. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. People are still swimming. So that's a North Food Clock. And this is South Fruitport. And that is the sunset. What do you think, baby? Oh, oh if I have to. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What is it, Pretty good. Nice. And the sun is dropping as we drove in. Yeah. We just missed the sun to go down <laughs> by about two it. minutes. <laughs> Oh, that's all. That's all, right. all good. We've got, we've got three more nights. Yeah, we have. It's going to be awesome. Thank you, baby. I think that's a beautiful. I mean, look at the LEDs on that shit. Bespoke cocktail. Oh. That's the place. That's where they. That's the one I just read about. Oh yeah. They make. They make you. They don't have a menu. You have to tell them the things you like. And they make you a cocktail. That's pretty good. Yeah. 260k. Oh, what's going on there? There's people everywhere, sitting oh. in little chairs, and they're not white. So we just finished a meal at the Soup Nazi restaurant. <laughs> it's actually in, in, in uh, on Google Apps it says, no name barbecue. There's three reviews. Mm. And like, we had a fish. Fish was okay. We had <clears throat> enoki mushrooms wrapped in bacon and they were fucking delicious and then we had this mango and dried squid salad which was also delicious a lot of help from this lady over here in the white she's been very kind assisting us with our ordering the way to order was to point at things right explain the order. Oh, i thought you pointed at things at the barbecue but you don't you point at things over there and then they put them on the barbecue but again our, our friend helped us and it's really been good I have to say although there's a bit of funk in the fish I think I don't think it's as I don't think it's as gutted as perhaps we used to have it yeah um, and I go. ate some of the funk yeah. did you eat so, some funk yeah yeah I had a big chat of the funk so you pick all your stuff up there with the cranky lady in the pink top and then over here serving is is the maybe grandpa Grandma's gone. She made the salad. But yeah, it's quite an interesting experience. It is. Awesome stuff. And also, Virginia, the pride of Pearl Island. Heineken. In conjunction <laughs> No name barbecue. Bloody delicious. And we're heading into the Bazaar Mart. For some Bazaar. What was that? Same, that same thing, just not in her knee. And I've got meat, fruit, fish sauce, happy days. Yummy. First day in food block, we're doing nothing. We're just taking it easy. Good old 
walk along the beach. Oh yeah, the beach is like this. The real-time effects of COVID. Even resort, it was all empty. And this is another resort. There's the pool full of water. Yeah, there's and there's bar. an outdoor bar here. It's some sort of Instagram fucking hamster wheel you can get on. What's the steel here, baby? It's really green. Doesn't look that appealing. Let's go. And they left. And this one was going to be the Sheraton. But COVID kicked in and they went, fuck that. We're not going to do anything on this. We're just going to leave a big old concrete box. With lots of floors. It's like jelly, blue jelly, blue curacao jelly. to take it for granted just how many sunsets I saw over the ocean living in WA and this place is stunning though it's absolutely stunning 50 years old today pretty bloody nice view this is pretty bloody nice as well by the beach and that's a sex on the beach special we're on forest You've locked your knickers. I've literally got, I'll go and I have like two or three pairs of knickers. Celebrating, celebrating my 50th. And uh, very expensive beer. beer. Very Most expensive you, beer. We Ridiculous could have bought 10 beers. I mean, it was $3 or something. <laughs> it was really expensive. <laughs> See, we're here for sunset. Those are all these young couples just crying out to put their images on Instagram. Got this absolutely incredible. I'm gonna get, yeah, there we go, that's better. Sunset as the sun has just gone down, but because there's a few clouds in the sky, it looks absolutely amazing. I'm 
and this couple in front of us here, Korean couple, will sort of help them take a few photos, I hope. But they were, I'm pretty sure they went boomer. <laughs> well, at least that's what I felt, but anyway. Um, <clears throat> but they've been really, really cool. And of course, I must take this opportunity for all my subscribers to thank my wife. <laughs> thank my wife for arranging this. On my 50th birthday. On my 50th Amazing food. Happy, We're happy. Chardonnay. But, it's the first know, bottle of wine we've had in is, weeks. Which is bloody it's amazing. Gonna be about, it's going to be amazing. We've been drinking his beer. We go, oh. Okay. But last night I had some mocha. No, proper mocha. Not Hanoi mocha. Proper mocha. Kind of. I was talking left handed for a while there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're done. And out. Awesome. It's like it's my birthday. <laughs> and we're drinking Mira Wera Chardonnay, which is actually really nice. Yeah. I like this song too, baby. A lot. I think it's great. And we've demolished this. Seafood, a snapper, snapper. Whole snapper, clam, oh sorry, um, scallops, squid, and prawns, and yeah. Just de delicious. Yeah. Four to five hundred dollars, I reckon, in Australia for this, and we're going to pay probably one hundred and fifty. I think one hundred and fifty. Hundred and fifty. Hundred and fifty cent. Fifty cent. Would they bring you two fixes? It's beautiful. You have to cover it up. Great fucking playlist. It's an excellent playlist. How do we have like great playlists when we go to Asian countries like Bali? Remember Room for Dessert? Room for Dessert. I mean, that was just oh, it's incredible. Here's my beautiful wife. To all my subscribers, I love her. <laughs> I mean, considering I don't even have a YouTube channel, that's pretty good. And let me say, this restaurant is. Yeah, it is really fucking good. Five stars. Five stars of my 50. Five times ten. <laughs> Chef Baker. Every time you start filming, it's Chef, Chef Baker. Baker. And the playlist has been incredible. Oh, yes. I mean, apart from the old Gordon Scott and Bobby Darren thrown in there. Blimey. No, that's Frank. What does Bobby Darren do? Beyond the sea. Somewhere waiting for okay, me. I'm going to see you again. Get that central. Across this sign, it says Merry Christmas, baby. It's gonna crash into the mermaid. No! Last night we were in Big Walk, watching the sunset. Quite beautiful. So he's putting on a dress so she can do <laughs> the posy thing in front of the sunset. And I'll take a photo and just look at her off. Fucking useless. Um, so last day in Phu Quoc. Don't want to leave this place. Very beautiful. We're off to Ho Chi Minh to eat. Well, there's a surprise. <laughs> See if you can't get it up to 80. Yeah, I want to get up to, I want to push an 85. <laughs> we didn't do much in Phu Quoc, other than lie on our asses. Swim. Let's swim. Eat. Drink. Drink. That's it. It's good fun. What were your highlights, baby? Phu Exactly that. It's the only last time. My highlight was my birthday dinner. 
because I think that was bloody awesome. Talking to the Korean couple, that was pretty funny. Um, yeah, but generally just doing nothing, which has been great because it's been action packed and sunshine as well all, all day. Hardly any wind, it's been beautiful. Yeah, so over and out, like and subscribe. So there we were, chatting away in the hotel, not realising that our plane's departure time had been brought forward by an hour. Um, luckily, we had a very accommodating driver who we paid a bit of extra cash to, and he drove super fast to the airport, and we just made it. So Ho Chi Minh, here we come.